Jules Verne, the father of science fiction, by Seth Alden. Jules Verne is a 19th century French novelist. He was born on February 8, 1828, in Nantes, France. He is said to have pioneered the science fiction genre. He is known as being the father of science, along with H.G. Wells. As a child, Jules and his brothers loved adventure. They would go around on sailboats just to get some adventure in their lives. They even taught themselves how to sail. Jules excelled at writing as a child. He spent more time on writing, so he fell off in other subjects. At around the age of 20, Jules was sent to Paris by his father to study law. Jules used the money that his father was giving him to study law on his writing ambitions instead. His father found out that he was not using the money for law school and cut off his money supply. After having his money cut off, Jules struggled to write and had to work as a stockbroker. He continued to struggle until he met the publisher Pierre Jules Hetzel. With Hetzel helping him edit his novels, Jules began to improve as a writer. Together as a team, they were able to create the highly popular Voyages Extraordinales, or Extraordinary Journeys novels. Jules Verne was mainly known for four of his novels. Journey to the Center of the Earth. From the Earth to the Moon. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Around the world in 80 days. Throughout his career, Jules Verne was able to predict many modern day inventions. In his book, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, Verne predicted an electric submarine. In 1889, he predicted the invention of newscasts. 30 years before the first one happened. In 1865, he predicted solar sails in his novel From the Earth to the Moon. He also predicted the invention of lunar modules in the novel From the Earth to the Moon. In his novel, in the year 2889, he predicted the use of advertisements in the atmosphere, or sky writing. In this same novel, he also predicted the use of video conferencing. In 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, he predicted the use of a gun that uses an electric jolt instead of a bullet. He had predicted the taser.